Okay, on my original uh, video that I shot, the one prior to this one, we were brewing up pumpkin ale. Now what we've done is uh, we've transferred the pumpkin ale from a secondary fermenter into a keg. And we're going to run the uh, pumpkin ale itself through a filter box here. It's got two filters in there. Filtering the pumpkin ale all the way through and then into another keg. Once I get done doing this, I'll go ahead and cap that, put the CO2 because I did... Uh, have my secondary in the fridge. I had it out of the fridge for a week and I had it in the fridge for a, a week so it's all nice and cold right now. So I can go ahead and start carbonating this once I get done with this and uh, I'll take it outside and put it in the fridge outside and let it condition for about a week. So I'll roll carbonate that and I'll show you how I do that in a little bit. And then this beer will be actually drinkable tomorrow but we won't probably tap into it till a couple weeks because I've already got pumpkin ale on tap already. So uh, this is just the second batch of it or it's the same batch, just the second five gallons of it. All right, now I'm going to get into the carbonation process. What I do is I've got my uh, CO2 hooked up to it. Got it on about uh, 14 PSI. Here's my keg. I put the uh, down tube. I'm going in, I'm sorry, the CO2 tube. I just rock it. I do this for a couple minutes, um, four or five, and I normally do it today, let it settle, come back again, and shake it up again tomorrow and then let it sit a week and it should be perfectly carbonated at that time. So right now I'm just feeling to make sure the CO2 is coming in. And of course you got the kids in the background driving me crazy. Anyways, that'll be about it for now. And then uh, next time I post something, it'll be with the beer, we'll be drinking it. All right, I mentioned before I was gonna uh, add the tasting of the pumpkin. Since you've seen us brew it, you've seen me filter it, you've seen us rack it, you've seen us do everything with the pumpkin except for to drink it. So we got some guys, random dudes off the street, they kind of stopped by, they were driving a truck with some furniture in it, moving it, and they said, dude, what the hell are you guys doing in here? And we said, we're drinking some beer, making some beer, having some pumpkin. So they had to try it. So what's your opinion about the pumpkin? It tastes great. It tastes great. <laughs> I'm liking mine better. <laughs> <laughs> so good pumpkin ale, huh? It's delicious. Oh, good that's stuff, good man. to hear. That's good to hear. It's nice to be able to make beer right out of the garage and people like it.